When you picture a submarine, you might imagine this massive whale of a time metal beast cruising under the big blue ocean. But there's more to this undersea tale. While these aquatic behemoths appear as colossal as skyscrapers from a distance, inside it's a whole different story. Sailors around the world live in tight quarters, navigating their daily routines in a space that's more cramped than a rush hour subway. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel as this video will take you on an immersive journey into the world of U.S. Navy sailors, revealing how they navigate life in a confined space deep underwater. Submarines, the epitome of modern naval engineering, stand as among the most stealthy and formidable war machines to date. Fueled by nuclear reactors, they carry formidable weaponry while maintaining an exceptionally low profile beneath the ocean's surface, accommodating a sizable crew within their confines. The United States boasts a fleet of 72 submarines, comprising both attack submarines and the ballistic missile submarines known as boomers. However, one thing that even these technological marvels must contend with is the basic human need for replenishment. Despite their ability to traverse the depths indefinitely, these extraordinary vessels can only store enough food for their crews for three to six months, necessitating periodic resurfacing for supplies. Consequently, a typical deployment for U.S. Navy sailors aboard these submarines spans 90 to 180 days, showcasing the endurance and strategic importance of these underwater platforms. Life as a U.S. Navy submariner is a demanding journey through icy waters within a steel cocoon that lasts for months. Surrounded by explosives, combustible materials, and even nuclear weapons, these sailors navigate a perilous path. Even in moments of calm, the specter of disaster is ever-present. In times of conflict, the threat intensifies as hostile ships and helicopters lurk, ready to hunt them down. Yet, beyond these dangers, the very fabric of daily life within a submarine defies convention. Upon deployment, sailors swiftly embark on the crucial task of ensuring the vessel remains watertight. Once this is secured, their routine adopts an artificial 18-hour cycle, in stark contrast to the 24-hour day we know. Divided into three segments of six hours each, this cycle encompasses periods for sleep, watch duty, and leisure. The absence of natural light further complicates matters, making timekeeping a challenge. Instead, sailors gauge the hour by the nature of their meals. Pancakes signify morning, while leftovers hint at midnight. Interestingly, amidst the immense confines of a multi-billion dollar submarine, space reigns as the most coveted treasure. It's a realm where claustrophobics find no solace. This is because, within the 337-foot expanse, a significant portion is dedicated to the nuclear reactor and propulsion systems, leaving only a fraction for the sailors to inhabit and toil within. Every nook and cranny is a testament to efficiency, serving multiple purposes with precision. The officer's wardroom, a venue for high-ranking officers to dine, seamlessly transforms into an emergency operating theater during medical crises. Likewise, the torpedo room serves as both a gym and a makeshift sleeping area. With such limited room to spare, sleeping quarters are a... These spaces within the submarine are characterized by their tight and snug layout, where bunk beds are arranged in close quarters. Each sailor is allocated a specific bunk and locker to store personal belongings. These bunks, often referred to as coffins, are stacked three high on either side of the quarters, providing just enough headroom for sailors to sit up in bed. Despite the confined space, sailors have some degree of privacy, as each bunk is equipped with curtains that can be drawn to block out light and noise. Given the submarine's emphasis on stealth, measures have been taken to minimize noise within the quarters. Sound deadening materials and insulation are used to reduce the transmission of noise between compartments. However, the sounds of the submarine's machinery and the ocean are still audible, prompting sailors to be provided with earplugs to aid in sleeping. 
Due to space constraints, there are often not enough bunks for every crew member. For example, the Virginia-class submarine Missouri has approximately 94 beds for its 135 crew members. As a result, two or even three sailors may share the same bunk in rotation, working shifts of six hours on and six hours off, a practice known as hot bunking or hot racking. Additionally, some crew members may opt for temporary bunks located in the torpedo room. In general, sailors have approximately 15 square feet of personal space, including storage within the quarters. Senior submariners have similar facilities, albeit with fewer men sharing the space and each of them having their own bunk. On board submarines, the bathrooms are notably minimalist, often accommodating as many as 40 men with just one available. Showers are similarly compact, designed to conserve space for essential submarine components. Additionally, with only one washer and dryer available for the entire crew, clean clothes also become a coveted luxury. Imagine yourself trapped within the confines of a sealed steel vessel, surrounded by the impenetrable darkness and icy chill of the deep ocean. Each day stretches before you, a cycle of six to ten hour shifts with little to distract you from the monotony. Amidst this routine, the only certainty is the arrival of meal times. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner serve as the precious moments when you can savor a taste of life beyond the submarine's walls. Now consider the impact if those meals were unpalatable. This is why the culinary specialists aboard Navy submarines are tasked with a challenging mission to craft a diverse array of dishes using the limited resources available. They rise to the occasion, conjuring up lasagnas, pizzas, omelets, pancakes, bread pudding, an assortment of burgers, and even oversized cookie bars, all from scratch. Their dedication and passion set the stage for a daily ritual that nourishes a crew of 100 to 150 submariners day in and day out. Hours before each mealtime, the meticulous preparation begins, ensuring that the food is not just sustenance, but a source of energy for their demanding tasks. In the galley, which is a compact yet efficient kitchen within the ship, modern appliances like refrigerators, ovens, and stoves facilitate the creation of a diverse menu. Every dish is crafted with care, recognizing the vital role it plays in the sailor's performance. Once the meals are ready, they are served in the mess hall, which also serves as a communal space where the sailors come together to dine. The layout is designed for maximum efficiency, ensuring that everyone is served promptly. As they sit at closely arranged tables, the sailors not only satisfy their hunger, but also forge bonds over shared experiences. The mess hall itself is a retreat from the ship's confines, adorned with captivating scenarios and artwork that transport the sailors momentarily from their daily routines to moments of contemplation and wonder. Behind the scenes, a specialized team known as supply management ensures the culinary operations run smoothly. Their meticulous management of inventory, storage, and resupply efforts ensures a seamless flow of ingredients and provisions, essential for sustaining the crew during their missions. In the midst of their mission, should supplies like food and other essentials start to dwindle, a fascinating process called at-sea replenishment comes into play. This intricate maneuver involves a supply ship meeting up with a submarine while they're both in motion, allowing the submarine to restock without needing to return to port. The supply ship comes prepared with cranes and specialized equipment to transfer crucial items like food, water, and fuel to the submarine. This operation demands precise coordination and skill from both crews to ensure a safe and efficient transfer of supplies. Interestingly, the U.S. Navy can also utilize supply helicopters to replenish their vessels. However, since submarines lack a proper landing deck, these helicopters hover above the surface submarine and drop supplies using slings, a testament to the innovative solutions devised by these skilled crews.
Living in the confined quarters of a U.S. Navy submarine, crew members carve out precious moments to recharge their weary minds and bodies. During these breaks, they gravitate towards the mess halls, where cell phones buzz with video game action, televisions flicker with entertainment, and a library of some 400 movies awaits to whisk them away from the submarine's steel confines. To foster camaraderie and pass the time, sailors engage in card games and board games, finding solace and distraction in these simple pleasures. Submarines, with their limited space, have transformed work zones into dual-purpose areas that serve as both lounges and makeshift gyms. Here, submariners must adapt to their environment to maintain their sanity and physical fitness. In the torpedo room, which is more of a narrow passageway than a room, workouts take place in close proximity to torpedoes. The standing room is a luxury, with space resembling that of a utility room under a torpedo rack. Even when the rack is raised to its highest position, there is barely enough room for a person to perform a burpee. The crew stores its single-weight bar beneath one of the torpedo racks, alongside two sets of power block dumbbells. Despite the constant activity in the room, it remains possible to perform deadlifts. However, due to the space being utilized for movement between rooms by crew members on watch, individuals looking to engage in exercises like burpees or high knees must navigate around them. Recognizing that not everyone favors the limited space of the gym, U.S. Navy sailors have devised a specialized bodyweight workout that requires no equipment and can be done anywhere. This routine consists of bodyweight squats to failure, push-ups to failure, 60 sit-ups, and approximately 10 minutes of cardio, typically a combination of jumping jacks, high knees, quick feet, and jump rope. Upon completion, they walk for two minutes, engage in stretching, and conclude their workout. For those committed to gym workouts, the crew also shares a 35-pound kettlebell, several foam rollers, yoga mats, and TRX straps. Additionally, there's a collapsible bench stored in a box that can be relocated to another narrow space for bench pressing. On board, there are five cardio machines available, including two spin bikes, a rowing machine, a small elliptical, and a treadmill. The treadmill is undoubtedly the favored exercise equipment on board, nestled discreetly in the engine room, beneath a pipe positioned perfectly for a potential head bump mid-run. To sidestep this hazard, crew members adopt a comical sideways tilt as they jog, humorously calling it combat running. Despite its popularity, there are instances when this coveted treadmill must remain idle. Thriving in the challenging conditions of submarine life, the crew's attitude toward their circumstances emerges as a crucial factor. While resilience is essential, maintaining an accommodating demeanor is equally vital for sustaining morale on board. Submariners have crafted a silent code of conduct, an unwritten guide aimed at preserving harmony, especially during extended periods submerged. Political discussions are off limits, and slamming doors is taboo given the constant presence of sleeping crewmates. Negotiating the narrow passageways becomes an art as crew members learn to maneuver with agility to avoid collisions. Shower time is a brief affair, with three to five minutes considered respectful to others due to the limitations of the water supply and the need to conserve it. During missions where stealth reigns supreme, a phrase is announced known as ultra-quiet, where even the slightest noise is forbidden emphasizing the need for constant vigilance and consideration. Submarines operate with an all-volunteer crew, a reality that instills a deep sense of pride. Those who serve aboard submarines are a unique breed, drawn to a life beneath the waves. This pride forms the cornerstone of maintaining peace. Each member of the crew honors the sacrifices they make fostering a unique camaraderie rooted in shared dedication. Out at sea, submariners experience a profound disconnection from their loved ones. This lack of communication is perhaps the most challenging aspect of life aboard a submarine. Unlike other branches of the Navy, submariners don't have the luxury of casual phone or video calls with their families. 
Instead, they rely solely on sporadic emails, which can sometimes be few and far between, arriving only when the submarine surfaces. Even then, communication is uncertain, as each signal sent reveals the submarine's position, compromising its mission's security. During extended periods of silence, submariners may receive family grams, which are brief messages with strict character limits. The sailors carefully inform their families of the do's and don'ts of these messages, ensuring that they adhere to the submarine's operational security protocols. Amidst the myriad challenges that come with operating a submarine, one of the most formidable is undoubtedly handling emergency situations. Imagine being hundreds of feet below the water's surface, surrounded by immense amounts of explosive materials and nuclear reactors. In such an environment, even a minor incident like a fire or flood can instantly jeopardize everything. To confront these potential crises, modern submarines are outfitted with state-of-the-art emergency response systems, designed to mitigate risks to the highest possible extent. While the threat still remains significant, the U.S. Navy diligently maintains these capabilities to ensure they are fully prepared to manage any emergency that may arise. In the event of flooding, submarines crew must act quickly to prevent the loss of buoyancy and potential sinking. They use submersible pumps and bilge pumps to remove water from flooded compartments. Besides that, protecting the nuclear reactor is crucial, and flooding can lead to a loss of coolant, power, and containment, risking a nuclear meltdown. An emergency plan is in place to address flooding, including procedures to isolate affected areas and prevent damage to the reactor. Fires pose similar risks, and the crew must extinguish flames, ventilate affected areas, and protect the reactor. After a fire, the air can be contaminated, requiring the use of protective equipment like an emergency air breathing or EAB system. Ventilating affected areas on a submerged nuclear submarine presents a formidable challenge, as the vessel is hermetically sealed from the external environment precluding the option of opening hatches or windows to facilitate airflow. One method employed to address this challenge includes the utilization of mechanical ventilation systems. These systems rely on fans and ducts to circulate air throughout the submarine, thereby facilitating the exchange of stale, contaminated air with fresh supplies. However, the effectiveness of this approach is contingent upon the submarine's proximity to the surface or the presence of a snorkel system, which enables the intake of fresh air while submerged. What do you believe unfolds when a submarine collapses under the immense pressure of 10,000 feet beneath the ocean's surface? Discover the intriguing answer in our captivating video awaiting you on the end screen. If you enjoy our content, show your support with a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below.